proper sort of Cub Scout stuff, even though I got kicked out of the Scouts. Don't worry about that, don't judge me on that. Beautiful smoked fish, trout, prawns, horseradish sauce, and a lovely little watercress and onion salad. You can go and buy a smoker, but I don't want you to go and buy a smoker because, to be honest, all you need is a bucket. Right, so we put holes in the bottom for airflow. Very, very simple. So fill a bucket with about three inches of white hot charcoal from the barbecue. Then I've got some wood chips here, uh, which you can buy, you know, from garden centers and stuff like that, or get a pen knife and just, just do a pile of splinters. You want to use things like oak, apple, cherry woods. You don't want anything oily like pine. You can see the smoke coming off it now, dead simple. Over here, I've got some prawns and trout. Okay, so first of all, I've just got some nice big prawns. I've taken the shell off. Let me show you how to do one. Hold the head, just crack off the body shell, pull that off, and go right down and leave the tail fin on, just because it looks quite cool and it's good to hold on to. So peel that off like that, and then skewer it. And then just lay these, just like that. Then I want you to get a load of skewers, wooden, everyday skewers. You can use metal ones if you want and just lay it across, almost like a game of kiplonk, right? Crisscross like that. Then I've got some trout fillets. You could use salmon, some seasoning. We could even get some lemon zest if you want. Just give it some freshness and some brightness. And then I'm gonna lay that trout over the kaplonk, Flesh side down and the smoke will come around and it will kiss the fish. And then all you have to do is get a wet cloth I'm just going to lay it over the top like that and that means it's holding all the smoke in. So that bucket now is just full of like foggy smoke. And it's only going to take about five to seven minutes to cook. I want to make a punchy dressing so it's 50-50 horseradish sauce to yogurt and a good pinch of salt and pepper and a squeeze of lemon. I just think this is exciting, you know. I can't wait to teach little buddy how to do this. I love the fact that, you know, if you teach your kid to do it, he'll probably do it with his kids. And I just love, love, love all that sort of stuff. So look, I'm really pleased with that. Got me sauce done. I got me smoker on. Yeah, I'm gonna make a lovely little salad. Finely sliced some onion, okay? Season with salt and a nice squeeze of lemon. Then massage it all over to take the heat out of the onion. Get some watercress and some good old fashioned cress and dress with a little olive oil. Job done. Then we come to our fish. Right, these will be done by now. I pretty much know when fish is cooked, when you can pull the skin off. Look at that. Let's pick up this fillet. I'm gonna let gravity flake it. Just let it bust cooked in its own juices. It's such an intelligent way to cook. And then look, what's quite interesting is all the heads did fall off, off with your head, right? But what's quite lovely is the flavor of prawns is in the head, right? So as the head falls on the charcoals, like all of the oils from the shell and the flavor turns into smoke. Do you know what I mean? That's what all this is about. Just dress it with a little lemon juice and of course, olive oil. I love the little dream of going away with the family with a, an old fire bucket, you know, full of a few little things to do this. Imagine, and like, you know, picnic, but not as you know it. For me, that's what this kind of summer festival food season is all about. Do you know what I mean? It's about the unexpected. It's about bigging it up. It's about surprising yourself with things you can do. So there you go, beautiful smoked fish, prawns, trout, horseradish sauce, and a lovely little watercress and onion salad. Happy days. Bang it in your gob. Absolutely gorgeous.